Hey folks, it's Nick Granville here. I thought I'd um, quickly address this whole Gibson thing that I've been saying, seeing on the internet. You know, there's a lot of people talking about it, this whole play authentic kind of thing that's going on. I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about originality and what it means to play authentic. Uh, I guess kind of mixed feelings about this. I'm not really sure what to think. Um, on one hand, I kind of think Gibson's fair enough that Gibson's done this, you know, they, it's their property, you know, like if it was my property and somebody was like trying to steal my identity or, or your identity, imagine how you'd feel about it, right? Like if somebody was out there trying to pose as Nick Granville, I mean, it's had it happen on Instagram. Someone set up a fake page instead of posting my videos on whatever else. And so I had it taken down as you would. Gibson's been investing money in our factories, in our team of people working in the content that we're creating to make the Gibson experience the best and make the best guitars we've made in 125 years. To the manufacturers out there, we want you to know that you've been warned. We're looking out and we're here to protect our iconic legacy and the designs that we've created over generations. But the douchebag thing is I wouldn't create a video warning people about doing that. I'd wait till it happens and then I deal with it. And that's the part I kind of have a problem with how Gibson did it. It's like, you know, when they said, oh, guitar makers should be in on, um, on warning. I kind of thought, did you really even need to say it? You know, deal with it when it happens, but did you really need to make a video about it? And, you know, um, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I've met Mark Agnesi a couple of times at um, Norman's Rear Guitars and no beef with him. He seems like a, a cool guy, you know, um, loves guitar and that's always, we like people like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I kind of thought that this guitar here, which is my favorite and the only guitar I have here in the UK at the moment, we're, we're currently in Cambridge uh, in, in England, uh, but about to head off to London in a couple, uh, tomorrow and then off to France to go to Paris for a couple of weeks. So that's really exciting. And then back to the UK, um, we'll be around, but um, this guitar, Anyway, it's the only guitar I've got here in the UK and it wouldn't exist without Fender, right? I mean, it's clearly inspired by kind of a Telecaster, but but it's kind of, to me, it's not really a Tele at all. I put that middle pickup in there, that's not originally there. But imagine if Fender said, no, you can't take any of our, our ideas and kind of run with it, because this is essentially what has happened here, if you ask me. This is like a Fender Telecaster, but with some improvements, in my opinion. Things like this. You have this little carved bit here. I mean, it's just so much more comfortable when you got to play the higher frets. Um, uh, lots of little things about it. The locking tuners. You know, you don't get those on a Telecaster, but you get those on this guitar. And to me, all those little things kind of make this guitar special. But, so this is kind of like an evolution of a Telecaster. But imagine a Fender put out a video like that and kind of warned, um, this is by Ibanez, but warned um, all the companies, you know, we're going to come after you if you kind of take our design and improve it and, and then change it. Well, not improve it, just make it different. Make something new. Um, I mean, to me, this is an improvement. This is way better than my Telecaster. Hence why I only bought one guitar, this guitar. Um, but there are some really nice tellies out there, especially the old ones, you know. I have played I played a broadcaster once, which was just <laughs> ridiculous. I wish I bought it. It wasn't, wasn't that expensive either. It was beat up, but it, anyway. Um, but to me, that seems, it's anti kind of, the way Gibson's stance is anti uh, anything like this happening. Because Ibanez kind of got their start by copying Gibson and all these other companies and then sort of making their own of it. And, and next thing you know, they were... Um, you know, innovating in a lot of ways, like the Ibanez Gem, which is essentially like a super strap. You know, I think, I believe that Steve Vai guitar is the biggest selling signature model of all of them. Um, you know, so I think Gibson, you know, probably should have just chilled on that video. And I think they did the right thing by taking it down. I think it's kind of always poor form of them, but they have a right to, uh, to protect their intellectual property too, just like I and I protect mine and you would protect yours. Um, but that's kind of my two cents worth. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I'd be curious to know. Um, I think Gibson makes some great guitars. I've played a couple of crappy ones of the more recent ones and I've played some absolute killer ones. Um, especially again, the vintage guitars are really, really nice if you can afford them. I can't. <laughs> um, but you know, even if I could, um, I'm pretty happy with this, but, um, and my Schofield guitar, which I love, which is back in New Zealand, and I'll be sending for that soon anyway. But um, yeah, um, the other thing too, I'm doing some Skype lessons at the moment, so if people are interested in that, if you've seen anything that uh, I've posted and you want to know more about it, then get in touch and uh, let me know about um, when you want to hook up a Skype lesson. I'd, I'd love to show you some more stuff about what I do and how I do it and um, 
I can definitely help you progress. Anyway, thanks for checking this video out and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. People ask us a lot about forgeries and, co and counterfeit guitars, you know, often of lower craftsmanship coming in from overseas. But there's some common misconceptions about what a forgery is and what trademark infringement is. Any copy of any one of those designs that we've named is in fact by definition a counterfeit Gibson guitar.